Hey guys, White Phoenix welcomes you to another little vlog. Hasn't been that long since my last one, but I feel like I need to share something with you. Um, I know a lot of my vlogs recently have been a bit on the negative side, because I've been feeling bad things and stuff, but this one's not going to be like that, thankfully. <laughs> this is a more positive one, that... Um, well, I, I need to give it thanks to someone first. Um, I completely forgot her name. I'm so sorry. Bloody hell. But um, the person I'm referring to is one Rebecca Smith, who you, you probably don't know. But you might know her better as her YouTube self, Softly Galoshes and Micey Lulu, which is her ASMR and her vlog channels, respectively. And I do watch a lot of her ASMR videos to help myself go to sleep and relax. Um, if you don't know what ASMR is, there's plenty of videos on YouTube to tell you about what it is, but it's kind of weird and kind of cool. I only discovered it in the last year or so, so it's... Give it a try if that sounds interesting to you, but... Um, on her other channel, Micey Lulu, she has a video to do with finding your own happiness, which I watched just yesterday, and it kind of blew my mind a little bit. Um... And I want to sort of say a few things that she said, and maybe my own little thing as well, because it kind of helped put things in perspective a lot for me. My camera's complaining about something, I don't know what. Hopefully this is recording, okay. But anyway, um, what she talked about in that video is finding your own happiness. Now, lately I've had some relationship issues and unfortunately it's not the first time I've had those issues. I've had a long, sad, very much a train wreck of what's called a love life. I've loved people and I've lost them for various reasons and it's always hit me like a sledgehammer to the face, basically, or more accurate to the heart was concerned. Um, and anyone who's been through heartbreak, um, you know, like, true heartbreak, you know exactly what that feels like. Um, I've been feeling absolutely worthless, like, I'm not good enough to be with anyone. Um, I've, I've been feeling like I can't love anyone ever again. But I do realise that I've kind of been doing this a bit wrong. Um, I've always thought, for, since for, for many, many, many years, that to be happy, I needed to be with somebody else. And, well, now I'm not so sure. And watching Miss Smith's video, um, kind of reinforced that. It kind of, like I said, it blew my mind. What a lot of us forget to do at times is we forget to take care of ourselves, especially when we love somebody else. There's nothing wrong with loving someone, okay? It's amazing, it's wonderful when two people who are just right for each other come together, then awesome things happen, like with my brother and my sister-in-law. But what I'm guilty of and what a lot of people are guilty of is the fact that we think we can't be happy without that person. We end up taking our heart and putting it into their hands, expecting them to give us happiness, and vice versa. And it's completely wrong, because you can't rely on another person for your own happiness. They could help make you happy, they could make your life better, they can't make you completely and utterly happy. They're not responsible for that. And neither are you for them. I mean... I'm not going to go into it here, but... I found it very hard to make my significant other happy. And that's part of why we end up ending. So... Um... But the point I'm trying to make is, your happiness 
it comes from within yourself. You've got to dig really deep in here. And yeah, it's going to suck. Yeah, it's going to hurt. But if you can find it in yourself to let go of this need to place your happiness in someone else's hands, then you're going to get along a lot better. It's not impossible for someone to care for you, even if you can't find happiness within, your, within yourself, but you can't expect them to find that happiness for you. That's what I'm trying to say, and that is the mistake that I have been making a lot and that needs to change pretty much I everything I think about love and relationships has been challenged in the last half a year and I'm reaching the point now where I know it has to be different like I do want to meet someone still, I, I still would like to be with a special someone, but it can't be the number one thing in my life anymore. I need to be okay on my own, and when then when she comes along, things will be absolutely awesome. And hopefully we're not just trying to give each other happiness exclusive happiness we're just adding to the happiness each other already has and if you're feeling absolutely worthless like you don't you feel like you don't deserve to be happy you don't deserve good things then you need to stop thinking like that because you do okay if you watching this right now and you're having a particularly crappy time then know that it's not gonna go on forever these things don't last forever you can't go through life believing that there's always going to be sad times you can't avoid them they're always going to happen it's just a fact of life you can't do anything about it but there's also going to be happy times and happiness isn't something that's always there it's always constant you kind of have to make your own happiness at times. You can't rely on someone else to give you that happiness. And going into this year, that's probably the most important thing that I have learned thus far. And I'm hoping this is the first step on making my life a lot less emotionally damaging. And maybe the step to finding the person I actually am meant to be with. Because maybe all this time I've been going about it all the wrong way. But that's just my take on things. Um, but just seriously, don't ever feel like you don't deserve to be happy. I felt like that. I felt like, oh, I did everything right, but she gave up on me anyway we had to break up anyway so I don't deserve to be happy I don't deserve to be with anyone but you can't think like that to yourself I mean I try my best but sometimes your best is not going to be good enough you can't win every single battle you're not going to win every single battle that you come across in your whole life it's just not going to happen nobody wins every single battle some people you're just not going to get along with. You're never going to win them over or you're never going to be able to love them. And all you could do is just accept that and carry on. Part of being able to have your own happiness is that as well. Knowing not just when to try but when to give up. Because sometimes you have to. Sometimes it's the better thing to do. For whatever reason, you just have to give up and just get on with it. And that's the other big lesson I've learned lately. But... One more thing. Don't ever stop fighting for your own happiness. 
Even if you've got something inside you that is telling you that it's not worth fighting for, you're absolutely worthless, your existence means nothing, it doesn't. You've got to keep fighting, even if it hurts, because it will, it'll be a struggle. Sometimes you're not going to want to get out of bed on the a morning, you're not going to want to do the things that you want and need to do in your life. You're not want to go and hang out with people, you're not going to want to do anything you love. You're just going to feel like it's all worth nothing, but it's not. Life's always a fight in ways, and sometimes it's against yourself, and oftentimes the hardest battle you will ever fight is against that voice in here that's telling you to give up and that everything is pointless. But you have to keep fighting that voice. You can't let yourself go into a downward spiral or get dragged into a black hole because getting out of that black hole is hard. And sometimes you have to fight your way out of it. And it's also hard and it sucks and every negative emotion and memory and everything will pull at you like no force you've ever known. But you have to keep fighting. You. You have to keep fighting. I'm going to keep fighting. I've decided that. I'm going to find that fire that burns within me. But not expect an angel's wings to make me fly. I'm going to let that fire burn and sprout these fairy wings. But I know that I have. And I'll fly my own way. And maybe an angel will fly alongside me, maybe lift me up when I'm down sometimes, but I will find my own wings. That is what I intend to do this year. Fly on my own two wings. And you can as well, okay? Don't doubt yourself. If you have a dream, if there's something you want to do with your life, don't let all the negative crap inside you stop you. Just go for it, okay? I know you can do it, alright? Okay? You. Yes, you. Nod with me, okay? Okay? You can do it. And that is pretty much all I wanted to say. Um, I hope this helps in some way and that it gives you a bit more clarity on what, how you might be feeling in life at the moment. So, yeah. Right, that's it. That's your January motivation. <laughs> and, yeah. If you, need, if you ever need to hear these words again, come back and just listen to this video again. And just be reminded that somewhere out there, someone believes in you. And if... You don't feel like they do, then believe in yourself. Be there for yourself. People sometimes need someone to be there for them. You can be there for you. It might not make much sense to hear that, but you can be there for you. Alright guys, I hope January goes very well for you, and the rest of this year as well. Whatever you're fighting for, whatever your dreams are, and just whatever. Keep your fire burning! Cheers very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.